Okay, so just a very quick update on dollar Japanese yen. We've now just about had that two yen move that we've been looking for. Yesterday we had a lot of people trapped short selling in the 149s, but now 151 and a half just ticking into that area as we as we speak actually. So a little update on what's going on obviously after today's policy tweaks. Uh, the yen once again taking a bit of a hit. Obviously, as we know, almost every major central bank has taken a stance on inflation, all bar one so far, more or less. Um, but we're actually seeing a few things, that they're relaxing their grip on bond yields. Um, you know, their so-called flexible yield curve control is barely working. And, you know, they've doubled their limit from half a percent. The upper limit now of 1% is double the uh, previous rate, which is quite alarming to me. It doesn't really make much sense. Um, yet the, the actual response on the yen is still rather muted. It's not the massive move that, that we would perhaps anticipate. Uh, going forward, people, uh, traders need to understand that um, th these sort of adjustments uh, are going to, you know, have ripple effects, especially in the, the global debt market. You know, we've always seen that the Japanese government bond yields, when they rise, um, the domestic investors, they unwind all of their foreign uh, holdings and they put the proceeds back, uh, you know, sorry, the foreign investors, they unwind their holdings and they put it back into the domestic market. Um, and, you know, given that the Japanese government debt represents about 16% of global sovereign bond indexes, any sort of eastbound flow of capital, you're going to see ripple effects very quickly. And it could then revive this so-called, you know, flagging yen, if you will. Um, and of course, yen historically has been a bit of a safe haven, but we haven't seen that safe haven bid for the yen. But I think we're getting closer to that and it's only a matter of time now. You know, you've got a hundred percent up on yields. The pressure that we're having here could drive uh, risk premiums back up and then it would expose further issues down the line for the yen. But, you know, there's a few ways that you could play this trade. So are we witnessing on the one side, the early steps to higher yields, which will then obviously bring the currency back up and improve the prospects for the yen? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. It's one option that we're exploring. So what are we doing? We're beginning to position for a change of heart in the yen, a more bullish yen, sitting on yen cash and increasing that. More government bond, Japanese government bond holding exposure too. And we're also tracking yen call options against both sterling and US dollar. And I, I, my gut feeling is those that are holding uh, Japanese interest rate options positioned to make money as rates rise could pay off really well. So that's a quick summary today on this move that we're seeing as we actually break out um, and we prepare for perhaps another leg um, higher.